Hello everyone, I'm Guauhtemoc Cavila, Superintendent of Schools, and on behalf of our Board of Education, we'd like to share some very important information related to the opening of the new school year. But first, let's go to Ego Nation, where Destiny Lopez will take it away. Thank you, Dr. Avila. My name is Destiny Lopez, graduating senior of the class of 2021, and we are here to give you the ins and outs of in-person instruction. We want to give you peace of mind and make sure you guys are ready for the next year. The Rialto Unified School District is excited to open its doors for traditional school in fall 2021. Our USD staff have been working diligently to make the transition to our fall 2021 school reopening as safe and simple as possible. We can't wait to welcome you back. As our state reaches 20 million vaccines administered and COVID-19 case rates and hospitalizations have stabilized, California is looking to move beyond the blueprint for a safer economy to fully reopening our economy. According to the California Department of Health, on June 15th, all industries across the state can return to usual operations with common sense risk reduction measures such as masking and vaccinations. In addition, schools should conduct full-time in-person instruction for the new school year in compliance with Cal OSHA emergency, temporary standards, and public health guidelines. At Rialto Unified School District, safety is our top priority. And as we begin the process of reopening schools, we have prepared extra precautions and cleaning protocols to protect our students, staff, and families. All public facing front offices across all of our schools and facilities have newly installed physical barriers, temperature check machines, and mobile hand washing or sanitizing stations. Large temperature kiosks, which are capable of scanning 2,500 to 5,000 individuals in 30 minutes have been installed in secondary school campuses. Smaller temperature kiosks, which are capable of scanning 300 to 500 individuals in 30 minutes have been installed in our elementary schools and high traffic facilities. Additionally, no touch thermometers have been provided for all schools and facilities for using in smaller groups. Markings to help display social distancing measures and routes designated for entry and exits have been placed in high traffic areas in order to limit direct contact with others. Disposable masks and hand sanitizer will be available for students and staff. Postering reminding students and staff to remain socially distanced and to frequently hand wash to prevent germs from spreading have been placed around school campuses. Daily, high touch surface cleaning will take place to increase precaution from any germ spread or possible outbreaks. Surfaces like desks, chairs, rails, restrooms, and doors will be routinely cleaned for added safety. The purchase of new tools to help fight COVID-19 with state-of-the-art cleaning devices like electrostatic sprayers that will envelop the virus with cleaning solution will assist in sanitizing classrooms, playgrounds, and hard-to-reach places. Hospital-grade antimicrobial air filters and air supply have been modified to increase the amount of outside air to the highest extent needed. With all the extra added precautions and protocols in place, we aim to minimize risk to our students, staff, and families, thus being able to achieve a safe return to in-person school. As we prepare to welcome back our students for school in the fall, there are a few important procedures you should know. First, it is important to self-screen your child at home every morning for COVID-19 symptoms. If your child is experiencing any symptoms, it is critical that they stay home. Be sure to remind your child to bring their face coverings to school as they are required to wear one on campus. A reusable mask will be provided to your child on their first day of school. Additional disposable masks will be available as needed. Be sure to review your child's daily schedule and pick up and drop off your child on time. Students will not be allowed to gather before or after school. For those arriving to campus in a vehicle, please remain in the vehicle when dropping off or picking up. For those that walk to school, we ask that you do not gather and remain socially distanced. Students will have their temperature checked as they enter the district bus or walk onto campus. If your child is a bus rider, please remain at the bus stop until your child's temperature has been taken. 
Any student at the school site with a fever or COVID symptoms will be taken to a waiting room and socially distanced from others. Parents will be contacted and required to pick them up from school immediately. While students will be participating in a traditional school setting, some systems, procedures, and events such as assemblies, recesses, and lunchtime may have to remain adjusted to be compliant with public health guidelines. More information regarding our fall reopening will be coming July 2021. We look forward to seeing our students in the fall. We miss their smiling faces and the joy they bring to our schools. Together, we will bridge futures safely. Please understand that the opening plan for the next school year may change or be more relaxed depending on our county health guidelines. For additional information on reopening policies and procedures along with our traditional school schedules, please check out our website at www.rialto.k12.ca.us.